sick in my stomach. Suck in the tummy. Hi. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Cooking It With Eye Day. I am running a little bit behind because that's what I do. And just letting you know now that I've been fighting off ants all morning in the kitchen for the last couple of days, actually. I've been bleaching them. I don't know how else to really get rid of them. Um, but they're out here, so I am fighting them off. Um, today I'm going to be recreating Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. They just announced that they're going to be removing a lot of different items from the Taco Bell menu. One of them being the Mexican pizza, which is my favorite. And I was outraged, right? And then I thought, when was the last time I even had it? And why be mad when I can probably make it? better than they do. So I'm going to be recreating a Taco Bell Mexican pizza today. I've never made it before. I don't know why. Um, and I, I'm also mad that I'm even doing it <laughs> because a few years, I think it was like a few years ago, maybe last year, um, that Taco Bell got, was voted like the number one Mexican restaurant in America. And that's just so fraudulent. Um, and here I am a Mexican American about to make a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. Um, but it's so good. And I thought about it, like what really does the Mexican pizza consist of, right? Tortillas, uh, ground beef. And I think if you want to if, like, say you're vegan or whatever, I don't think you have to do it. You can use just the beans or you can use like, I don't know, some type of like soy riso or Beyond Meat. I was almost gonna do it with Beyond Meat. My boyfriend almost convinced me, but I was craving that ground meat today. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, also, just in advance, my stove's been tripping. It's been making these weird noises. I cleaned it and I don't know if I put the things back in properly because it's been tripping, but. Anyway, I'm gonna warm this up. You hear it? <laughs> it's making its own beat. I don't know if it's gonna stop. I guess you guys are gonna have to say it's all part of cooking. I'm gonna deal with this stuff. What is going on, bro? Shut up. It's not gonna stop doing that, so let's see. Let me see something real quick with this stove. It's lit. <laughs> Let me see if this cover. I need a tour. Maybe I didn't put these things back on right. Well, look at this. I also know how to fix the stove or break it. What is going on with you? Is this hot? I don't know what it is. Or why it's making that noise. This hot. It's not too bad. Let me try this one more time. The stove. Ow! Last time I burned the toes. This time we're here burning my fingers. Let's see if this works. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, can you guys hear my stove? It's like, oh, there, it's, no! Stop, you're embarrassing me. There, it looks like it's gonna stop. It's a little bit on the higher side, um, but I'm gonna grab my ground beef because I think that that's where we need to start. And normally I would advise you make some either pinto beans. I like Peruvian beans, um, but we're gonna do this the lazy way because that's what Taco Bell does. <laughs> Get you a can of refried beans and you'll be fine. Uh, let me grab the beef. Oh my tummy. Uh, get this, I want some garlic and I think we'll be good for now. All right. So, if this fails, you can at least try some tortillas with butter. <laughs> tortillas with butters ne with butter never fails, Rudy. So you're right. We can do that. 
Okay, so I just got me some organic ground beef from Trader Joe's. Again, if you want to do something else, you can. Um, apparently, this doesn't have a little seal thing. I have to cut it open. And that's getting really hot. I might need my oil. Have any of you ever made a Mexican pizza? Can't be too hard, right? It's just tortillas. Put a little bit of olive oil in there. Oh, another thing too. I figure you have to uh, fry the tortillas and then you put them in the oven at some point, right? So the cheese can melt. Um, I forgot to buy uh, canola oil. And the only other oil that I can think of to use to fry is some uh, Crisco. <laughs> And this is what I had. I use it to bake or to fry every now and then. What up, BC? So we'll see how that's going to go. No promises. This is warming up really, really fast because, as you guys heard, my stove is having a mind of their own. And if you're just getting on here, I've been battling and fighting off ants for days in my kitchen. So they make a little cameo in here. Don't be surprised. Just say hi. I call them the migas. Um... Let's see. Okay, my tortillas ready too. Look at my panza. Should be using crop tops. All right. I'm um, gonna chop up a little bit of onions. I have this one onion here that I need to finish using. And I'm gonna put it in my cast iron along with a little bit of garlic for my beef. So give us some seasoning. I did buy this taco seasoning mix that I kind of want to use and don't want to use. And I'm seeing ants right now and it's driving me crazy. I've been fighting them off with bleach. I don't know what else to use. My boyfriend didn't want to use like those sprays that they sell at Home Depot. I was going to get them yesterday, but he's against it. Now the migas are back. They're in this kitchen, enjoying their little lives. Oh, this thing is so high. I have this little thing to scoop my veggies up. I don't know where it's at. It makes my life easier. Cut up some garlic real quick. Have any of you dealt with ants this summer? They are out here. Okay, so now I'm chopping up some garlic. I like to use um, some sweet yellow onions and garlic for my beef. And then I got that taco seasoning and this other salsa just because I wanted to mimic the taste of <laughs> Taco Bell. I'm not sure if it's really going to work. I've never made this before, but all I could do is try. We're trying this together, so if it works for me, it's going to work for you. Uh, this thing is so high up, but I don't know what to do with it because I found it. Look what I found, you guys. Look at this brush. This is what I needed to pick up my onions. Oh my god, so my mama can lettuce with onions. Forever burning stuff here in this kitchen. Nice and toasty. Smell delicious. Nothing like smelling garlic and onions roasting or even slightly being cooked. I'm um, gonna put the beef in there. Lighting. Those in there. Organic beef, trying to get fancy here. Ooh, that's a lot of blood, son. Okay, so now that you got your beef in there, I'm gonna move this beef around. Like to break it up. 
This is the Taco Bell way, according to me, okay? They do it lazy, I'm gonna do it lazy. Let's see, can you guys even see? Hello from Wisconsin. Hi, Alba. Those are Home Depot sprays work at my house. But well, we're talking about killing the ants now. Ooh, it smells delicious already. Okay, so I told you guys, <laughs> I'm trying to do this just like Taco Bell. I'm assuming they use some stuff like this, spices and seasoning. Normally I would just put garlic salt and uh, some black uh, pepper. Um, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this, not even a lot. There's so much in this packet. Okay, I think that's more than enough. So, now that this is all seasoned up, I'm just gonna move it around. I feel like good beef shouldn't be over seasoned to be able to enjoy it. If you're vegan, um, I think that you could just do it without the meat, or again, like I said, try Beyond Meat or Soy Riso. You could probably just do it with the beans. But I'm pretty sure that my Mexican pizza is gonna come out better than Taco Bell's. It's already smelling way better. Okay, well that is gonna get brown, nice and brown. This makes me wanna make carne apache. If you're Mexican, especially for Michoacan, maybe you know how to do it. Carne apache is the best. Mamba824, what up Mamba? Oh yeah, cast irons are Game changers. I have to keep my eye on this because the fire is so high because my stove is tripping right now and it's making this weird noise and unless I have it up this high, it won't stop doing that. So as you can see that cooked pretty fast. I'm gonna let it just darken it up a little bit more. I like it nice brown and crispy, but I do want to add a little bit of black pepper in here. I love black pepper. Mmm, that tastes so good. I'm really hungry. I only had a yogurt for breakfast, so I'm trying to do this fast. Okay, well, I'm going to let this brown up a little bit more. What I'm also gonna do right now is start to heat up my oven because um, I know you guys see the, whatchamacallit, the melted cheese at top and in order to melt the cheese, I wanna put it in just a tad bit. I'm gonna put it at 420, got that going. Um, another thing, where is my skillet? I think it's over here. Oh, that one's too big, I need a smaller one. So, Normally, if you want some refried beans, you get you some pinto beans or Peruvian beans. I love Peruvian beans. Um, and you cook them whole. Then you get them and you crush them with one of these. Um, but since we are recreating Taco Bell's Mexican pizza, we're going to be lazy just like them. And all you need is a can of refried beans a skillet to warm it up. I'm gonna start to warm them up right here. Um, maybe, depending on what mood I'm in, if I'm being lazy and I'm using uh, these refried beans from a can, I either put like little pieces of onion and oil here to refry them even more. Uh, but today I'm going to add a little bit of milk to it. I know you guys are probably going to think I'm weird, but sometimes 
I just taste them like that. And it makes it so they don't like taste all dry. When they come from the can, sometimes they taste dry. So this beef looks like it's pretty much cooked. Let's see. Ah! Mmm. That's yummy. That can be turned off now because it needs to chill. Okay, so uh, should I? Part of me is telling me do it the way you always do it, but another part of me is just saying be lazy. I feel like I want to be lazy. So I'm just going to put these in here. I like these refried beans because they have little chunks of whole beans in there. Like little surprises. Okay. I don't know why I'm not just putting the whole damn can over here. Look. Frijoles. Grew up eating frijoles my entire life. We ain't had nothing else some days. Just frijoles. Mamá, ¿qué vamos a comer hoy? Frijoles again. <laughs> Sometimes that's really all we had to eat. And when I was a little girl, my mom used to make these things called enfricoladas. They're basically like enchiladas, but with beans. And I couldn't stand them when I was little. I feel like they just made me feel poor. That's why I didn't like them. Let me put my hair back. Um, and now as an adult, I absolutely love them. They're so delicious. I should make some today. I told you guys, don't judge me. I like to put a little bit of milk. Actually, I should taste these beans real quick. This milk isn't open. Mmm, yummy. I feel like we could use a little bit of salt, but we're gonna leave them alone. Put a little bit of milk in there. Cause it tastes a little dry to me. Okay, so this, What I do want to put in the beef is the seasoning that I got at the market, at the farmer's market. Family owned seasoning, local. It's really yummy. Should have put it in earlier, but it's still gonna go in right now. Let's see. I'm eating this food. Serving it to me and my boyfriend so I could do that. If you serve it up for other people, then probably we're not gonna do that. Oh, this is it's called Cappy's Dry Rub. It's all-purpose seasoning, but it's delicious. I should have put it in earlier. I'm just gonna top this off. That mix it up. So my beans are warming up. What I need to start doing, oh, it's a little onion in there. It's also starting to warm up this cast iron and I'm going to fry the tortillas in there. Cause you want to give that crunch, right? This beef smells amazing. I told you guys I didn't eat too much of, huh? Mm. Okay, so put this over here. Let me throw this away. Okay, so this is warming up. Se me olvidaron. Tacos de frijol. <laughs> What's up? Weird is good. And frijoladas are bomb. That's my childhood too. They're so good. Uh, my mom would put... Deja bajarle la lumbre a estos. Se me van a quemar los frijoles. <laughs> uh, my mom would put uh, queso fresco, crema, a uh, little bit of cebollitas moradas, and sometimes salsa on it, but so delicious i told you guys i forgot my canola oil and the only other thing i have in here to fry with is crisco so we're gonna use some crisco for these tortillas i don't know if it's gonna work i'm assuming it should not my favorite choice i like to use crisco to bake with 
and to fried chicken with, actually. I'll take that back. I don't want to use too much. I'd be surprised how much a spoon will get you. We'll do that much for now. Hi, Dave. Will you genuinely miss the Taco Bell Mexican pizza? I really will. That's why I'm over here recreating it. Um, it's the one thing that I really love from their menu. I don't know. Why, Rui, you don't like it? Then I thought to myself, why am I tripping? I'm pretty sure I can make it better than they do. Anyway, this sponsor. All right, these beans are smoking. I think they're good. They're ready. Okay. All we're waiting for now is for this Crisco, which is actually getting ready pretty soon, to warm up. But while that's happening, I'm gonna get my toppings ready and all that I'm really gonna use for the top of the tortilla is, Taco Bell usually uses, a, I believe is like green onions, but I don't wanna use those. I never liked them. I love purple onions, so that's what I'm substituting it with. Um, you're welcome to do whatever you want with yours. No. I once tried making a cup of noodles without water. <laughs> I think a lot of people have done that. So you just forget, you're not paying attention, and then before you know it, you have a dry ass cup of noodles in the microwave. Okay, so I'm cutting my purple onion that I'm gonna put on top along with some tomates and a little bit of sour cream with the cheese. They normally do it with just tomatoes, the green onions, and the cheese with a little bit of this type of salsa. I try to find some type of already pre-made salsa. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna, I should open it at some point and try to see what it tastes like. Let's see. I was being lazy. I don't wanna make no salsa right now. It tastes Taco Belly, I'm gonna tell you that much. <laughs> Man, no real salsa. Mm, okay. Um, let me put these tortillas to fry. Anything can happen at this point. And then I'm gonna grab my tomato. I like yellow corn tortillas. They're my favorite. I keep them in a Tupperware so they can stay fresh. Okay, anything can happen. They're in there. Give me some tomates. for my tortillas that are actually <laughs> really crispy. That Crisco, I'm telling you, key to frying. That was quick. Let me get this hair. Uh, okay. Hair's pulled back. Having your hair full while cooking is just never a good idea. It's too hot. I have um, I have this cookie sheet <laughs> with a napkin, and that's where I'm gonna lay the tortillas to drain them um, from all that oil. I don't want them too oily. Okay, and I'm gonna cut some tomatoes that I'm gonna put on top of the Mexican pizza. Be doing too much. Last week I burned the bread, so I'm keeping my eye on this tortilla. Everything else is off because clearly I can't multitask. And this is not the, I hate this knife. I like my cheese knife. My cheese knife never lets me down. Boom. Just cuts everything easier. It should be called an everything knife because it never gives me problems with anything I ever cut. Meat, fruit. Vegetables, you, I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> all right, let me get this tortilla out. I'm still seeing little ants all over my kitchen. 
Well, we're going to stop fighting with the ants because apparently they're winning. This is a different color. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here. Actually, I can cover the meat with my cookie sheet. And then you guys can see the tortillas on the top. Crispy. It's going to work. It's going to work. Getting a move here. Have any of you tried to make a Mexican pizza before? You should do an interview with Selena Gomez one day. I've been seeing a lot of people telling me that because she got her cooking show, right, on HBO where she's being taught by uh, different chefs how to cook. Cool concept. <laughs> um, should try it. Anyway, I feel like a real Mexican pizza would be made differently. My mom would always put beans on hers, like a pepperoni pizza. She'd throw beans on there, some jalapenos. Okay, so I have tomatoes. I have some sour cream. Yes, Daisy, because this is the cheapest. <laughs> Trying to save some money over here. Gonna open this and I have my Mexican blend queso. I don't know if this is gonna work, you guys. So far, so good, I think. Yo no sé. Yo no trabajo en Taco Bell. Okay, so I have everything pretty much ready. I just have to make the tortillas and then we're gonna see what happens. And my nose is itchy because I keep on saying these ants everywhere, but I can't attack them. I love, Q Smooth says, I love Mexican pizza. Um, there are other things on the menu that were going to be removed. I wonder if this is like a publicity stunt on behalf of Taco Bell. I feel like they saw what happened. Uh, was it Wendy's that removed the spicy nuggets or whatever it is that they have? And then Chance the Rapper tweeted about it and they're back. Those spicy nuggets are really good actually. Okay, so there's another one. Just gonna keep frying these. But as I'm frying them, I guess I can put one, oh, my hair is in my face. What is still going on? I guess I could put one in already just to show you guys. So here is my tortilla. I'm going to move this out of the way now. Ah, oh, I got hot. Here's my beans. Actually, let's put it back on here. This is a little display right here. I guess this could be the bottoms for now. I'm going to put the frijoles. Frijoles. I don't really... Don't think I've ever paid attention to what actual tortilla they use, whether they use flour or corn. Whatever it is, good. But I'm using yellow corn. And I made it crunchy. Get some more beans. Get your beans. Get your refried beans on. I'm ready to work at Taco Bell. Okay, so now that the beans are on, I should uncover, oh my God, tortilla problems over here. It's like curling up. There we go, still fine. It didn't burn this side. <laughs> then you wanna get your beef and just cover this up. Ah! It slid. We got some beef problems. We got some beef, literally. I'm hungry. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I normally don't like to eat on camera. That's how you know I'm hungry. Mm. Beef is so yummy. If you're vegan, you're probably mad at me. Sorry. But that is what it is. I want a little bit more beef on this. Let me take this tortilla out before it actually burns. Put that over there to take off the excess um, oil. I have this really low and it's still, these cast irons ain't plain. You guys can't see the steam or smoke, whatever this is. 
But I can. I keep on dropping the beef on purpose. Put that right here. This stuff is getting crazy. Have you seen the Travis Scott and burger at McDonald's? Was it the Cactus Jack meal? Yes, I've seen it. My roommate Leslie actually went and bought it yesterday. I've seen it all over my timeline. I haven't had McDonald's in a really, really long time. I think this tortilla is ready to use as a cap. So now I'm covering it. And I'm waiting for this one. I'm going to cover that one too. Mmm. Um, but I haven't gone to McDonald's to actually try it. I mean, it's nothing new. This is a regular ass burger just because it has Travis Scott's name all over it. Hey, I day, it's Alex. Alex Ortega, as in Carmen's nephew. What's up, Alex? Are you still doing animation? What's going on with that? All right, this is getting really crispy. I'm gonna turn this off because I don't wanna keep burning the oil. And I'm waiting just a little bit, taking off the excess oil off of this tortilla. Very oily. Just like fast food. Okay, hot, hot, still really hot. Look at all this beef that just wants to pop out. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, he's selling some some McDonald's merch and his website too. Yes, he is. Uh, very expensive merch, by the way. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is get the bootleg salsa I have. I just wanted to make it as close to what they would do. So I'm putting some salsa on the top. Okay, that's not ah, too much. Got on my hand. Okay, I'm gonna spread this salsa all over. Like this. The sour cream, I'm gonna open it up and put it in afterwards because I'm not trying to heat that up in the oven, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is just put the salsa like this. So now they have salsa. Can you guys see? Let me see. Camera angles is hard when you're cooking. Okay, that's there. And now, put this spoon right here for now. I'm looking for the queso. My boyfriend sees me doing this, he's gonna be real mad. He don't like me using my teeth, but. Since my scissors are dirty. Hopefully you have better cheese opening skills than I do. I clearly suck. I put some cheese on there. This is a, oops, Mexican style cheese. This ain't no Mexican style cheese. Queso fresco is Mexican style cheese, but for the American, Nized Mexican food palette. We'll use this. Okay, it's a shit ton of cheese. Being extra cheesy over here. Okay, so I put a fair amount of cheese on top of them. This looks just like a Taco Bell Mexican pizza. Okay. You see it? Now they're gonna go in the oven for a little bit. Whoa, they slide. You need to be careful. I don't know, I'm gonna keep that in there for about, uh, probably like a few minutes. I just want the cheese to melt and then we're gonna try it. But while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna make some more tortillas because I'm like, this is my lunch. And my boyfriend's upstairs and pretty sure he's hungry. So I gotta keep cooking.
I'm thinking I kind of want to put a little bit of jalapenos at the top too. I'm sure my boyfriend would appreciate that. Let's see. Who's in here? Who's in here? On YouTube, Leo Marquez is watching. I love you. I <laughs> day. Thank you, Leo. I appreciate you. Mamba824, who are some of the biggest influences on your life? And Mamba824 is watching on Twitch. Uh, some of the biggest influences obviously will forever be my mother. Um, and I would say now currently um, my boyfriend. Uh, he's a big influence on me. He's one of my biggest motivators. I didn't feel like being on here today and a lot of the days that I don't feel like being on here, he's always pushing me to continue creating content. So those two, I have a lot, but we're gonna name those two for now. Q Smooth, you look really sexy and beautiful in that outfit watching on YouTube. Thanks Q, appreciate it. Alex Ortega, learning to tattoo. Alex Ortega, his daddy is a tattoo artist. I guess now you're going to be doing tattoos instead of animating. Great artists, both of them. And Alex is watching on YouTube. Let's see. Kevin Morell is watching on Twitch. Says it looks good. Hope it tastes good. I don't know. I've never done it before, but we will see. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. It, we went through this last time. Lit Sleepers, I can never pronounce your username. Watching on YouTube says, looks good. I'm gonna I'm learn it, I promise you. Let's go check on them. This tortilla is warming up. Or frying, actually, I'm gonna keep it on this side. The side it needs a little bit more. Oh, I think it's ready, you guys. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. Yo, this looks just like a Taco Bell. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this. It looks like a Taco Bell Mexican pizza. But it's gonna taste better too. I should have added a little bit more sauce on the sides. This one came out a little bit more proportioned. It's all about proportions when you cook. Um, let me put it on a pretty plate. I'm gonna put it on a pretty plate. Watch it. Ah, it's hot. Keep it together, let's keep it together here. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to add, hold on, let me take care of this tortilla before I burn it. I'm going to add some tomates to it. Oh wait, I said I wanted sour cream on mine. Let me do that now. I'm gonna remove the shell, add a little bit of sour cream inside. I like sour cream. And now I'm really regretting not making my own salsa because it would have just been a whole lot better. But I'm trying to get this as close to Taco Bell's Mexican pizza as possible. So I didn't make my own salsa. But I love sour cream. In case you didn't know, now you know. I'm gonna take this out of here, put that in there, and I'm gonna put another one. Where'd I go? I'm really hungry, you guys. Okay, so back to the Mexican pizza. Here it is. I'm now adding tomatitos. Tomates. I'm adding purple onions. You know what I want? I want a little bit of cilantro and jalapenos. So two seconds. I'm gonna cut some cilantro and jalapenos. That's what they over there is tripping. Jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno. Got these yesterday. This one's tortilla, I need to be careful because I just washed my hand and I have water in my hands. And if that drops in this oil, game over. I just gotta wash my cilantro. Hello. 
don't care if Taco Bell gets rid of the Mexican pizza because I just realized I can make it on my own and it already smells better and it has fresher ingredients, even though I did it the lazy way, just to mimic that fast food experience, I guess. I put a little bit of cilantro on it and you guys can't really see, but I'm gonna show you guys at the end. And last but not least, I'm gonna chop a little bit of, the cilantro is all over my hands now. Where are you guys watching from? The day looks weird. I know yesterday, everybody in the Bay Area was showing pictures. The sky was super orange. It's because of the fires. Today in Los Angeles, it's looking muggy. I woke up and I don't know if it was the moon, the sun, it was pink orange. Ooh. Okay, this looks yummy. Let me take this out and let me turn this off. Cause you guys know I like to burn stuff. Hey, it kind of burned a little bit. A little bit toasty. Okay, we'll put this over here. Well, that's it. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Can you guys see? There. Ah, uh, this little free hole. Hmm. Oh, that was part of the jalapeno, not the beans. Okay, so should I try it? I said, I'm glad. I'm glad the Mexican in you read that correctly and those actually look pretty bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, I know how to read that very quickly. Look, why is this still smoking? It's been off. I'm gonna try it even though I hate eating on camera because I just think I have weird faces. I don't know if you guys can see. Vamos a ver. Mira mi panza. Okay, cilantro, quítate. Muévete, I have a mess over here. Tortillas, muévanse. Glove, ponte para atrás donde vas. You go back over there, mira. Que cochinero. Um, that, go that, let's go that. Okay, now that this looks a little bit cleaner, let's see. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to use the same knife I used for the jalapeño, so it's going to give me a little taste. Let's see. I want to cut it like they do. I don't have a pizza cutter, but I told you guys my knife allegedly cuts everything. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to keep it 100. If it's not good, it's not good. But if it is, you're going to hear that too. Sofatelas. I just took all the stuff out. My little trusty knife isn't cutting too good because I should have put this on the board to cut it, but let's see. I think I caught, ow, cut my finger, the hell? Okay, I got one piece off. Mm. Oh no, I was supposed to take a picture of my Mexican pizza. Shoot, okay, I'm gonna put this together. Hold on, you guys. It's hard to do everything by myself. Mm. You gotta clean up the plate so it looks extra yummy. Oh well. Hmm. Para el Instagram. Y el Facebook. I don't use Facebook. Ooh. Maybe take off these little crumbs. All right. Portrait. Dang it. You get back in the tortilla. It doesn't make it look pretty. You got it. It's all about presentation. Sour cream was all over the place. Boom. And we got action. I'm going to put this picture up on my Instagram story for you guys to check it out. I need to upgrade my life and get different angle cameras so you guys can see this. Okay, now I'm going to try it. Now that I did all my pictures, here's a little piece that I was able to actually cut. Mm. Yo. I'm so happy right now. Success. This is so yummy. Mmm. All right, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Better than Taco Bell. 
Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> I'm excited. You guys, it was super easy. Mm, but to use this to mix it around. Oh my god, it's so good. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my lunch. But thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Cooking It with I Day. I didn't burn anything today. And I just recreated Taco Bell's Mexican pizza and made it even better. So when they take it off the menu in November 4th, you got my video to recreate it. You got to believe in yourself. Next, to recreate the quesarito. I don't think I ever tried the quesarito. What is that, a burrito with queso on it, I'm assuming? What is that, Alex? It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I give myself a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. That is yummy. Mm. Mm. BC is my favorite. She's watching on Twitch. She always watches. La voy a hacer y te la voy a dedicar. Thank you, BC. Let me know. It's really, really good. I don't know why I never thought about making it. Quesadilla and burritos are so fire. I'm going to have to try that, Alex. Slaughterhouse Kennels is watching from YouTube. Donde me puedo encontrar una beautiful lady como tú que pueda cocinar. They're out there, I promise you. Rudy watching on Twitch says, need more of these Twitch streams. Thank you. I'm going to be trying to stay consistent and see you guys every single Thursday right here. If you're watching through YouTube, thank you. If you're watching through Twitch, thank you so much. I got thirsty. That's a with sandia. Maybe I'll show you guys how to do that. It's super fast. Thank you for watching another episode of Cooking It with Iday. The Mexican pizza was a success. We don't eat Taco Bell. Bye.